let's get right into this this is a 2011 dodge grand caravan so this is my current setup nothing crazy but maybe it'll give you guys some ideas uh, this is a cargo van version so you can see it's just got a regular floor but if you have foldable seats it'll be basically the same thing so i got my regular mr buddy heater i have it running on low i'm nice and toasty in here you can see it's been running for a while and then here's my new power station this is the van power super power pro it's a 2096 watt hour power station so i still got 93 percent been running this for a long time that is currently powering here's my getaway it's just a little bag i got tied here that's my garbage currently and i got two of these uh kind of like christmas light strings i can change the colors i can turn them white whatever i want to do and then i got three of these uh white lights here powered and then i got this new light here if you press it it's kind of like one of those just you know glow lights here and you got a low got a sos which i don't know when i would use that then it's off and then if you hold it down for a couple seconds it'll go into its other mode and now it's more like a flashlight there's a low and then ah three gallon water jug you can turn this on it's like a faucet you just charge it every so often i do have these back two windows cracked to get some fresh air because i am running a propane heater and you always want to have uh, fresh air you always got your carbon monoxide detector and protection i do have an air horn uh, mainly for when i'm outside but you know you could put this in the crack of the window and scare something away or use the horn got my little grizzly bear water cup here and this is my super bright uh, phoenix flashlight I got a little tray I can put food on this and I can put it on my lap or whatever. I just got this small lightweight outdoor 360 table. It folds up into a little thing so I can put it away anytime I want. Here's my portable refrigerator I have in the corner. It's a freezer and a fridge. I don't have it on currently because I don't have any uh, food in there right now. But it also acts as a little table. I got my candle going, lighter, temperature gauge, um, protection i still have this guy but these take batteries which kind of sucks because you can get expensive constantly replacing those but it does work good got my pillow got my zero degrees sleeping bag by tetan sports got my three inch foam sleeping pad got my cot with the raised legs portable little toilet there Well, while it snows outside and we are safe and warm in the van, we're going to have something simple tonight. Chili Mac with beef. Enjoying this chili mac here. Mmm. Nice and warm. I didn't tear it very good, but oh well. Wow. Ooh, that was a little bit spicy. My nose started to drip a little bit there. Spicy sauce. To you guys, it might not be spicy, but uh, I'm kind of a wimp when it comes to spicy stuff. So, but yeah, about to have this little ice cream sandwich. Looks just like a regular one, except for it's dry and not cold. Hopefully, it's not broken in 100 pieces. Ooh. Here we go. Mm. This actually tastes really good for what it is. Oh, just laying down, guys, relaxing after that food. Got a fresh new can in there.
morning guys just having a little warm coffee in my bentley cup i got when i went to saw those christmas lights last week but yeah just kind of animal watching right now warming up around this warm mr buddy heater feels so good snowed about half an inch nothing much last night after i finished this coffee i play to throw on my coat open up these doors and i want to show you guys a more in-depth uh, view of my setup Here it is guys, my 2011 Dodge Grand Caravan that I picked up for $3,000. It's got like 247,000 on it now. So it is a Grand Caravan, but it's the cargo van version. So meaning there's no rear seats on it. And I did put some brand new Blizzak winter tires on it. So uh, getting traction and staying safe is key. So that was worth the investment. So let's start with the back and then I'll show you guys the front. So I just got my little sign, the getaway. Just got it zip tied to the headrest there. My new uh, Van Power Super Pro 2000. This is my uh, brand new power station here. So I wanted something bigger so that I could go on like longer trips and not have to charge it as often. This cord just goes to uh, the front when I wanna charge it via my vehicle. And obviously when I get some solar panels, I can just slap some solar panels on the top. I'll be able to charge that up. So these wires right here, are powering my Christmas lights, which I can turn on or off from the remote to change the colors. And then if I wanna turn on these white lights, I just turn on the AC button. You'll see these white lights turn on. There they go, so now those are on. And then if I wanna turn my fridge on, just turn DC and hear it beep. All I did was just take the packaging that comes with it and I just cut it so that uh, it was low enough to be able to plug stuff in and left what I could. And you can see I cut it over here so everything fit. So now it's perfectly flat. You can see I put a little stair from there because uh, this van kind of like tilts down a little bit. So I wanted to keep that flat and be able to push that back as far as I could. Here's my water dispenser. It's kind of like a little faucet. This is in a three gallon water jug and uh, it has a really long cord. So it, it's kind of hard to see, but basically that could go to a really deep water jug if you need to. Here's my Helinox cot. And I have the extension legs on it to raise it up so that I'm able to put uh, stuff under it for storage. It conserves a lot of space. And you know, it's got a regular pillow there. And then this is, uh, I think it's called Teton. Zero degree sleeping bag. I just love the red and black on the interior. It's really nice. And I can just unzip this from the side. It'll fold over and it's easy to get out of. Keeps me warm. It's a zero degree sleeping bag. And then I got uh, this King Chi three inch sleeping pad which I have hooked on there. So that's not going anywhere. It keeps me very comfortable. And like say at night, I wanna charge my phone. It has this little spot I can put my phone in there. And then I just run a little cord to here and keep it charged. And then this kind of helps keep it a little bit warmer, you know, instead of being just out in the open. These black bins, what's nice is this ground's kind of grippy. So these don't slide around at all. Uh, it's really easy to pull out still though. I just got my burner and stove and whatnot because this was a real simple trip. Got my coffee. So this is kind of like my food uh, tray. This one, I keep, uh, I got a bunch of propane tanks. I got some used ones and uh, some new ones. Got an extra lantern, brand new batteries on it. I love this thing, it's really bright. You know, got some baby wipes for cleaning stuff. Walking around during hunting season, you gotta have an orange vest. I got an extra candle here, cause I love candles. Got my toilet paper for my toilet. Got my Glock case, extra ammo. And then this actually goes in the toilet to make sure everything breaks down and then it kills the smells and stuff like that. Some gloves for picking up trash. You can see I still got a lot of space in both of those. I can put more stuff. Here's my tray. I just like to put that on there. It just gives you a little bit more space on the table. And then it's also nice, like Sam eating. I can put this on my lap to eat and kind of keep the crumbs and all that stuff there. And then this is my outdoor 360 table. This is super lightweight, like really lightweight. And I put these little grippy things on the bottom just to help it grip the floor so it doesn't slide around. But this thing folds up really small and I can put it in that case if I don't want it. But I just tend to leave it out. This is the TK-16. I highly recommend this flashlight. Super, super bright for how small it is. Got my grizzly water cup. So if I wanna get the toilet out, all I do is just quickly move this. And then I am able to slide out my toilet here. 
This is the Dometic toilet. I really recommend this thing. It has a really nice uh, button to flush it. You just press that after pumping this and it'll uh, flush everything down. Here's one of my new lights I got. Uh, it has magnets on it. It's got these two hangers, so it's super easy to hang anywhere. I always bring a temperature gauge. This is the Accurate one. I'll just set it right here so I can kind of monitor how warm it is inside. I have the outside one. I usually just put it on my windshield like that. It's water resistant or waterproof, so you can leave it outside in the snow or rain. It works fine. Here's my 37 quart Bouge RV, I think it's called. It's got a fridge and freezer. Let me take this off here so I can show you. See, I have the temperature set at 33, but I could uh, obviously adjust it. And then I got the freezer set at uh, zero degrees, but it hasn't been on, so that's why it's not at zero. But this just gives me a nice little table, a place for my cups, place for whatever. Uh, it goes along with this really well. And I like that this one's really short because I got plenty of leg room here. Here's my reverse camera. This is a solar panel, so it keeps it charged up, but you can plug in uh, a little power bank and charge it if you need to. So here's the back, and this is where I keep my heater currently during the winter. I don't have a propane in it right now. I took that out, but I just keep it right there. It's a perfect spot for it. And this is where I keep my window shades. It slides in there nicely. They do have a solar panel you can plug into this fridge if you want to, and they have like a little battery to keep it run when you're not plugged in. But here's how I have my cord. I have it kind of run in the groove. Then it goes under this mat. There's actually a groove all the way up to the front to my power station. And you can see nothing in there right now, but it's got a pretty deep fridge, freezer. And you can actually make both sides of fridge or both sides of freezer if you want to. You can do it however you want. It has lights on both sides. Also has this cutting board built in. Uh, you can take out if you want to use that. And on the driver's side sliding door, currently I have my chair. This is a kicker rocker. I love this thing, folds out nicely. And here is my driver's side. You can see I got the seat pushed all the way back. That's basically where I drive, so it works perfect. I can just hop right in the back. Like I said, I just put this armrest up and I got my spots where I can have my cup holder. Got some water, I can refill my water cup at any time right there while I'm driving. Well, not while I'm driving. Here's my reverse camera. Fox Park. This thing is wireless all the way to the back. I didn't have to run any wires. It also has an extra little port to plug my phone or USB into. This one's for my power station. So if I want to charge my power station while I'm driving, I can just plug this in at any time. I do have more storage I can use here and here. And then there's like a little spot I can, you know, do whatever, put whatever there. It's nice that this folds away my cup holder. And then I have more storage space there. Then on the passenger side, there's a glove box here. I put my book and stuff in there. Um, I could use that space more wisely if I wanted to. Then I also have another one down here, which I keep like a lot of tissues and stuff. Just blow my nose and there's like a little rag there. Passenger side, I do have pushed up all the way to conserve space in the back, but I do have this angled back enough so you can see it can fully safely drive in this position at all times because it would be kind of stupid to have this all the way up and then it's blocking my view. For my current garbage, I just have a regular shopping bag just tied to the headrest there it's actually worked really well but for more stuff i would like to have a real like a smaller garbage here that i can just throw stuff in and then just take the garbage bag out and this his passenger seat there's actually a lot of extra room here i could put more stuff but i just currently have my gopros extra batteries different stuff like that i got a small backpack nothing special i just put uh, chapstick excedrin pocket knives lighters flashlights stuff like that in there it just kind of keeps everything like that from not being a mess in the back. I'll show you guys something new I got. I keep this in front of the passenger seat. Here's the brand. So it has this little, uh, it's actually kind of like a velvet underneath. Maybe not velvet, I don't know what it is, but it's really soft, it won't damage your steering wheel. If you just slide that over your steering wheel. Try to give you guys a better angle of it here. <laughs> so here's the brand. So see how it folds down like this? Got this nice, it's kind of like a carbon fiber type of feel if you know what that is. And then these straps, you can tighten this to change the angle, but the angle is actually perfect currently. This is actually uh, pretty tight. So you can put some kind of cup in there. You're drinking something. Has this where you can open up. Uh, you can put whatever papers and stuff back there. You can put your pens or I guess whatever you want to fit in there. And then you put something there. So yeah, it'll just be nice to sit here. I can watch TV now, recline if I don't want to be back there and don't want to lay all the way down. I can eat food. So yeah, it gives me a lot of options to edit on the go now. And then when I'm done with it, I literally just take it and just set it right there. You can actually clip that around uh, one of your driver or passenger seat. And then you can have it like this. Obviously, all I'd have to do is just uh, tighten this up. Then now I can work back here or whatever your current setup is. So the passenger side, obviously I got more space to store stuff there. A little bit right here. I already showed you in there. And then down here, no broom thing. Here's the other thing. This is a jump starter with air compressor. 
which I think is key when you're out van cave in the middle of the woods, you want to be able to start your vehicle or if your tire is low on air and you need to make it to a tire shop or something like that. This thing is a 12 volt jump starter with air compressor and also has like a light on it. You can turn the light on. It's not super bright, but it'll get you by in a pinch. You can see it has a couple uh, USB ports where you can actually charge because this is technically like a power bank also. And you can set your PSI to whatever you want for your tires and then you just turn it on. <laughs> This will pump up your tires. I pack up to go. Obviously, I put a couple little things away. Then I just put this tray like this, slide it under there. This has those grippy things. This isn't going anywhere. I just take my water cup, put it in the front, ready to go. Here's the view of the lake before we take off. It's so quiet out here. There's somebody camping down there. I can see them. Guys, we got some light freezing rain currently, so I'm going to get out of here, but hopefully it was semi-enjoyable or you learned something, or at least you just got to see my setup. It will continue and improve. I'm going to be going more like off-grid, electric, so you guys will see that in uh, near coming videos. All right, I'm going to get out of here. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!